guys, welcome back to the third video in the GNS 4Net series here that I did, uh, or I'm doing. Anyways, uh, in this video, it's going to be a short one, but I'm going to show you how to get the correct image for GNS 3, all right? Uh, and once again, this requires a support license, but let's go ahead and get out of PowerPoint here. And I actually am right where I left off in the last video, but here we're going to go to the internet. All right, the internet, the, the web. Um, here we go. Support dot Fortinet dot com. So once again, you have one support contract with one Fortinet device. You have access to all of their VMs. All right, not just the Fortigate. And what is nice is that uh, essentially you can try out other products. So they are good for a certain amount of days. And then after that, um, they no longer become good. Uh, but that should give you enough time to play with not just a FortiGate, but also if you want a Forti Analyzer or if you want to try out a Forti Authenticator. All right. But we're going to come up here, welcome Devin Adams, to where it says download. And we're going to get the firmware images. All right. We're going to go to download. And if you notice, FortiGate is selected. But they have a lot of Forti products. <laughs> All right. And on top of that, um, um, try them out. I really do encourage you to do that. So, but here we go. Uh, this is all the different versions of the 40 OS. We're going to go to five and we're going to go to five, four. I'm going to try to download the image that we used in class. So, uh, the firmware that we're on in class was 5.4.1. So I'm going to go there and here are all of the physical FortiGate's images to upgrade the physical product. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll eventually get to the VM machines. Here we go. Uh, and you know that because it says 40 gate VM, all right, 64. And the one that we're actually looking for is the one that is a KVM. So uh, here we go. You see how this is 40 OS? That's not what we want. We actually want the one that says 40 gates. So let me scroll up a little bit. Here we go. So 40 gate VM. 64, oh, here we go, KVM, version 5, all right, so it's this one. Now, what's the difference between these two? This guy right here is what you'd use to upgrade a FortiGate that's virtual. So if we were running 5.2 in a virtual machine, like in GNS, and we wanted to do an upgrade manually, this is the one that we'd get, and we would up upload it through the web browser. This right here is for the hypervisor, all right? So we're going to uh, come all the way over here, and we're going to click HTTPS to download it. It's instantly going to say, okay, where do you want to download it? I'm going to go to my, G, my D drive. I'm going to go to GNS3. I am going to do a new folder. I'm going to call this images, all right? And then I'm also going to do a new folder, and I'm going to call this Fortinet, right? Because eventually I'm going to have way more products in here than just Fortinet. So I'm going to hit save. And believe it or not, it's not big. It's only about 30 megs. It's already done. So I'm going to uh, open this. And as you can see, we have a 40 OS QCOW2 file. So and that is what QEMU, KVM uses. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract it to the place that I was at. So here we go. And it is waiting for me now on my D drive. So I'm going to go to D drive. All right. I'm going to go to GNS3. I am going to go to my images. I'll probably make shortcuts to these later. And this is actually what I wanted. So I'm going to delete the zip file. It's no longer good to me. And I'm going to leave the folder the way that it is as a reference. And before I go in this, just kind of kind of have faith in me here where I'm going to go ahead and click it once, and I'm going to copy that name. All right, then I'm going to go in, and then I'm going to click once here, and I'm going to paste it. So the name of the build is replacing 40 OS. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, uh, essentially, I need uh, GNS3 to be able to match the firmware. 
all right? So you can go ahead and do this for like five, six, or any flavor of Fortigate that you want. And now it's actually ready for us to import it into Fort, Fort, uh, Fortinet. I'm uh, 4040s, no, GNS3. So, and that's what we're gonna do in the next video. Okay, guys, so it's all ready to, to come in to the hypervisor. So I'll see you guys then.